Hi, it's Katrina. From frogs that can lift rocks to a croc with teeth the size of bananas, here are nine of the biggest animals from the past and present. Number 9. Goliath Frog Weighing up to 7.2 pounds, around the same size as a newborn baby, the Goliath Frog is the world's largest frog. It can grow to the size of a typical house cat, reaching as much as 12 and a half inches long. Goliath frogs have been around for roughly 250 million years and are one of few amphibians from before the time of the dinosaurs that are still around today. They are found in the African countries of Cameroon and Equatorial Guinea. Despite their size, they start out as tadpoles no bigger than those of other frog species, but seem to continuously grow throughout their lives. They have recently been observed making nests by gathering rocks and creating a little circle. Some of the rocks weighed 4.4 pounds, more than half of the frog's weight in some cases. Scientists know little else about the Goliath frog, including whether there is more than one species and how long they live on average. The Goliath frog is considered endangered mainly due to human activities. They are hunted for food and the exotic pet trade, and also face habitat loss from farming, logging, and encroaching human settlements. Adult specimens are largely targeted for the pet trade, leaving conservationists worried that the breeding population will no longer be viable at some point. Equatorial Guinea limits the annual export of Goliath frogs to 300, and this seems to be having a positive effect on the population, although the amphibian's ultimate fate remains to be seen. Number 8. Griffin Flies some of the largest known insects that ever existed were giant dragonfly-like predators called griffinflies from the extinct Meganeuropsis genus. They very much resembled modern-day dragonflies but are only distantly related to them and were much bigger, with bodies measuring over a foot and a half long and wingspans of up to two and a half feet across. That's Jumanji size right there! These primitive insects lived before the dinosaurs, appearing on the fossil record between 317 million and 247 million years ago, making for a surprisingly short-lived existence. There were two known Meganeuropsis species, which were both identified based on partial fossils found in North America. They evolved to such a large size because the atmosphere's oxygen content was much higher at the time. Simply put, breathing was easier for these creatures than it is for today's insects, enabling griffin flies and other land-dwelling invertebrates to become massive. Meganeuropsis died out during the end Permian extinction event, which eradicated roughly 90% of the Earth's living creatures, making it the most devastating of the five known extinction events ever to occur on the planet. Known as the Great Dying, it marks one of few known extinction events that saw a massive die-off of insects. The world's oxygen levels decreased following this widespread annihilation of animal and plant life, so consequently, insects never reached their former gargantuan proportions. Number 7. Giant Huntsman Spider You'd probably agree that the idea of a spider the size of a dinner plate is utterly terrifying, but such a thing actually exists. Discovered in Laos in 2001, the giant huntsman spider is the world's largest spider by leg span, measuring up to a foot across. While the Goliath bird eater is the most massive, huntsman spiders have longer legs and just look enormous, too. This cave dwelling species hails from the family of large, fast moving huntsman spiders. Named for their hunting technique of tracking down prey rather than capturing them in webs, these spiders can be venomous, and some species are capable of inflicting extremely painful bites on humans. Huntsmen are usually encountered in Australia, hanging out in people's kitchens or cars. Most people are unlikely to encounter a giant huntsman spider, and even if you do, your safety is probably not at risk. The giant huntsman spider eats insects, and sometimes each other. Like most other animals, they are more threatened by humans than we are by them. Following its discovery, apparently everyone wanted to have one of these rare, enormous spiders. But the giant huntsman spider typically cannot survive for very long outside its natural habitat, and its numbers are decreasing as more and more are removed from their environment. Number 6. Titanoboa South America's tropical jungles were vastly different during prehistoric times than they are today. For one, everything was bigger, including plants and animals. Crocodiles exceeded 33 feet in length, 7-foot-long lungfish tripled the size of those today, and turtles were the size of cars. The titanoboa was arguably the most alarmingly huge creature that lived in the area at the time. Measuring over 40 feet long and weighing more than one ton, it was the largest snake that ever existed. 
The thickest part of its body was nearly as tall as a grown man's waist. When a skull was found in Colombia, scientists were finally able to confirm its large size and its relationship to other snakes. It turned out there were many bone samples and vertebrae in universities all over, but they were so large, nobody knew that they were from a snake. Paleontologist Jonathan Bloch from the University of Florida said it was like somebody handed me a mouse skull the size of a rhinoceros and told me that's a mouse. It's just not possible. While the titanoboa looked like a gigantic boa constrictor, scientists believe that it hunted more like an anaconda, devouring pretty much any animal whole. When the dinosaurs died out, the creature rose to the top of the food chain and became king of the jungle. The titanoboa evolved to its massive proportions due to the hot jungle climate, which acted as an external heat source, enabling the cold-blooded serpent to move and live at its full potential. To give you an idea, the species dwarfed today's anacondas, which typically only reach 15 feet long and rarely exceed 500 pounds. Almost no animal was safe from this apex predator, but the titanoboa nevertheless went extinct around 56 million years ago for reasons that remain unknown. The prevailing theory suggests that a cooling climate made metabolism difficult for this snake and other large reptiles, while proving advantageous for smaller creatures. Number 5. Giant Otter While the wildlife in modern-day South America is nowhere near as large as it once was, the continent is still home to some impressively huge creatures. For example, the giant otter. Found throughout the Amazon basin, this species reaches up to 6.5 feet long, more than twice the length of the next largest member of the weasel family, and can weigh as much as 75 pounds. It's the world's largest otter species. Giant otters may have grown bigger in the past, with some accounts putting exceptionally large specimens at up to 8 feet long. It's most likely that excessive hunting prevented them from getting as big as they used to be. Otters can be extremely territorial and will fight fiercely to protect their families. The BBC has captured footage of the otters harassing caimans and jaguars by going for their tail and biting. Adults will gather together and hold them down and bite them on the head repeatedly. Also called river jaguars, they have a very eerie laugh when they get together. While they will also fall prey to animals like caiman and jaguars, humans are by far the giant otter's biggest threat. Hunting them was banned in 1975, but humans are now encroaching on giant otters by settling in their territory, resulting in habitat loss for the species. Despite its size, a giant otter is unlikely to attack a human unless it feels directly threatened, and has far more reasons to fear us than the other way around. As measures are increasingly taken to protect the species, its numbers are starting to improve. For now, the giant otter's future remains cautiously optimistic. Number 4. Sea Scorpion In 2007, scientists announced the discovery of Jacolopterus renaniae, the largest sea scorpion and arthropod that ever existed. Measuring up to 8.2 feet long, it readily exceeded the size of a human. The species lived between 460 million and 255 million years ago and was not a true sea scorpion. It did live in lakes and rivers, but probably rarely or never entered the ocean. It was an ancestor of modern sea scorpions called a Eurypterid. Scientists identified the creature based on a foot and a half long claw discovered in a quarry in Prüm, Germany. This was all that was left of the specimen. Scientists collected information on other sea scorpions and the ratio between their claw size and body length. When you work out how big this beast was, this monster was bigger than an adult human. It's unknown why prehistoric scorpions were so much larger than those that exist today. One theory attributes their gigantic size to higher oxygen levels in the atmosphere, while another proposes that a lack of predators may have allowed these creepy crawlers to grow. Both ideas are plausible, especially considering Jackalopterus' predatory abilities. This huge monster lived alongside other sea scorpions and fish, explained study author Simon Brady, who further added they would probably lie in wait. When another animal went in front of it, it would lurch forward and capture it. These things would tear their prey to shreds and then eat the little pieces. Yikes, imagine that lurking in the lake, like we didn't have enough to worry about already. Number 3. Giant Oarfish as the world's largest bony fish, the giant oarfish grows up to 56 feet long. Even though it's so big, the species is rarely seen and scientists know very little about it. The giant oarfish lives deep in the ocean, about 3,280 feet below sea level. In 2013, two giant oarfish washed ashore on California beaches. This was concerning for scientists because members of the species only tend to surface when they die or become injured. 
Biologist Milton Love told National Geographic that strong currents and swells likely killed the specimens and pulled them to shore. While it's believed that giant oarfish inspired legendary tales about terrifying sea serpents, they are harmless to humans. They eat plankton and lack actual teeth, instead eating through specialized structures called gill feeders. People believe that seeing an oarfish is a bad omen because that means that something bad is going to happen. When many of them wash ashore, people in some countries like Japan take it as a sign of an impending natural disaster, most likely an earthquake and possible tsunami. While scientists do not consider this a reliable way of measuring what's to come, a 2010 Japan Times article revealed that there may be some validity to this belief. Because of the extreme depths where oarfish live, they are sensitive to active fault movement, and there seems to be a correlation between earthquakes and oarfish that wash up on shore. Number 2. Gargantuan Millipedes Some of the largest arthropods and insects ever to roam the planet came from the extinct Arthropleura genus of invertebrates. They are related to modern-day centipedes and millipedes, strongly resembling the latter. The biggest among them grew as much as six and a half feet long and sometimes reached over a foot and a half wide. In other words, at one time, a millipede-like creature longer than the height of an average adult human graced the Earth. Arthropleura lived in what is now northeastern North America and Scotland between 340 and 280 million years ago during the Carboniferous period. They may very well qualify as the largest ever terrestrial invertebrates. Although no complete fossils have been found, fossilized segments and other body parts act as a testament to the insect's size. Tracks are also an indicator of how large Arthropleura could grow, with a set of footprints found in Nova Scotia, Canada measuring 19.7 inches wide. Researchers estimated that the animal who left them behind was at least 5.6 feet long. Their size may have resulted from increased oxygen levels in the atmosphere during the time of their existence. The fact that Arthropleura had few, if any, natural predators also likely helped to bolster their size. Despite this advantageous position, these prehistoric bugs were herbivores, much like modern millipedes, and they were ultimately defenseless against the conditions that wiped them out. Scientists believe that Arthropleura went extinct when the climate dried up and reduced the creature's rainforest habitat. Number 1. The Super Croc In 1997, paleontologists working in Niger found the human-sized jawbone of a super croc, Sarcosuchus imperator, a giant relative of modern crocodiles and the largest known crocodilian that ever lived. It grew up to twice the length of today's biggest crocodiles, reaching as much as 39 feet long and growing continuously throughout its lifetime. Its jaw alone measured up to 6 feet long, and they had teeth the size of bananas. Weighing up to 8 tons, the species tipped the scales at around 4 times the weight of their modern counterparts. The super croc dwelled in the rivers of what is now North Africa between 133 million and 112 million years ago, during the early Cretaceous period. At the time, what is now the Sahara Desert was a lush tropical rainforest environment that was flush with rivers. Its life on the water helped it reach its massive size. By floating, the reptile was able to carry more weight than it would have been able to as a land animal. The creature's powerful jaw, filled with 130 teeth, also helped, enabling it to easily hunt large prey, including fish and small dinosaurs. But the super croc's huge size may have also played a role in its downfall. Some scientists speculate that limited mobility, limited space to live, or both, may have contributed to the super croc's extinction. Paleontologist Paul Serino, who discovered the massive jawbone I told you about, believes that the creature was already rare to begin with. In that case, disease or disaster could have easily spelled the end for the super croc. Truth be told, scientists do not exactly know what wiped out this terrifyingly massive reptile. Thanks for watching! Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and let me know your favorite animal in the comments below. See you next time. Bye.